Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. First of all, as you can see, we broke back down into this triangle pattern right here. As I warned about in my video two days ago when the RSI was in overbought territories. So as of right now, we are simply trading sideways in this triangle pattern right here. However, I do expect that we potentially break out to the upside or to the downside within the next couple of days because the Bitcoin halving is already in eight days here. And in the case that we do break to the upside from this triangle pattern, well, the price target would roughly be 78.5K for Bitcoin. And in the case that we break to the downside from this triangle pattern, then the price target would be a rough 58.3K. So it is very important that we take a look at the short term support and resistance levels right now. So zooming in on the four hour Bitcoin timeframe, you can see that we are right now on the very edge of this support level right here. And in the case that we do break down from this pattern, well then the next level of support below that is from about 66,000 all the way down to 65,500 US dollars. So to visualize this, I have mapped out this 66K support level right here on top of the triangle pattern. So in the case that we break down from the support level that we are in right now, it would not be crazy to see us move down and potentially even break down below from this triangle pattern, potentially confirming this bearish price target. But in my opinion, it is definitely more likely that we do end up breaking to the upside eventually for reasons that I will get to in a second here. So if we do actually get a breakdown below this trend line, below this triangle pattern, I would definitely watch out for potential fake outs, just like we saw a fake out here to the upside. Now as to why I believe it is more likely that we break to the upside, as you can see right here on this Bitcoin liquidation heat map, there is about $2.2 billion worth of liquidity sitting at about $74,000. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. And 74K on this triangle pattern chart would definitely be a breakout from the triangle, confirming the bullish price target at about 78.4K. Though that is for the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, if we zoom in on the one week Bitcoin liquidation heat map, we see a little bit of a different story. So there's actually still a pocket of about $750 million below the current price at about 67.1K. And then even below that, there's another $600 million at about 65.9K. And this liquidity actually coincides exactly with this support level right here. So again, it would not be crazy in my opinion to just see us sweep all of this liquidity right here and then get a bounce back to the upside. But this is of course not financial advice. I am simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow table, you can see that the last two days, so Monday and Tuesday, we had a net outflow, meaning that more Bitcoin was sold by the ETFs than that was bought. And this was mainly caused by the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF selling about $450 million worth of Bitcoin in two days, as well as the BlackRock ETF only buying about $150 million over two days, when typically they buy about $240 million on every single weekday. So in conclusion, the Bitcoin ETFs are right now suppressing the Bitcoin price because they are selling a lot of Bitcoin, though whenever they flip to being net buyers again, I do think we will see a quick and volatile move back to the upside. Just like last week right here, the Bitcoin ETFs were buying a lot of Bitcoin and therefore we saw this quick bump to the upside. Now taking a quick look at Ethereum on the one day time frame, you can see that we got a rejection from this Fibonacci level, the 786 Fibonacci level, and then touched the 618 Fibonacci level where we found some support. However, after getting a little bit of a bounce, it looks like we are now potentially returning back to this 618 Fibonacci level. So this is just a larger trend that you should keep an eye on. And zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that right now we are on the edge of this support level right here. And in the case that we lose it, well then I do think we will be quickly heading down to this 618 Fibonacci level at about 3330. However, in the case that we do just find some support right here and get a bounce, well then the next level that we need to break is 3650 right here. But then above that, there's another level of resistance from about 3750 up to 3800. So these are just some levels that you need to keep in mind. 
in the short term here. And of course, there are more support and resistance levels that you need to keep in mind. However, I don't want to waste your time with this because I don't think we'll be reaching them before I post my next video tomorrow. So if you want to stay up to date with the Bitcoin and Ethereum price action in the short term here, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Lastly, taking a look at Solana right here, we obviously got this big rejection from the 786 Fibonacci level and then quickly went down to the 618 Fibonacci level, which is exactly where we are right now in the short term. In fact, if you zoom in, you can see that we already wicked below it, but then found some support. So let's take a look at the short term price action. Well, this four hour chart for Solana tells a very similar story. We are on the very edge of this support level. And in the case that we lose it, well, we might potentially get a little bit of support right here at 162, which we already wicked down to. So the support level has been accurate so far. However, in the case that we do just get a larger break to the downside, for example, if Bitcoin starts trading down very heavily, well, in that case, I do expect that we move down below this level and head towards the big level of support below that, which would be from about $150 all the way down to $140. However, if we do actually see prices in this level of support right here, then I do expect we get a little bit of a bounce from of this level as previously there has been a lot of support right here. And one last thing that you need to keep in mind for Solana in the short term here is that we are getting very close to oversold territories on the RSI momentum indicator. And typically what happens whenever we are in oversold territories, so whenever the RSI is below 30, well, what needs to happen is the RSI needs some time to reset a little bit. So it needs to start trending back up to this 50 range. And the way the RSI resets is either by the price trading sideways, in which case it would trend towards the 50 level, or the price can see some bullish price action, in which case the RSI would start heading up a little more quickly. On the left side of your screen right now, you see a video about when to buy and sell crypto based off of support and resistance levels, as well as some other tips in there. I highly recommend to go check it out. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.